Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to remove stubborn foundation and concealer so your brushes go from this to this. I've briefly touched on this in other brush cleaning tutorials, but this is specifically how to remove stubborn foundation and concealer. You know, it leaves your bristles looking oily and waxy and really grubby and just doesn't come out with standard brush cleaning. And I know a lot of you will clean your brushes, but it leaves staining on the bristles and this is going to help with that. Now I must stress, this is only how to remove that oiliness and the staining from your bristles. You should deep clean your personal brushes at least once a week. So this will get you through on a day to day basis. But if you're using them on somebody else, then you need to deep clean them every time you use them. After doing this process, if you look deep between the bristles, you can still see makeup and foundation and dirt in there. So you do need to get in there and give them a good clean. But lucky for you, I have two tutorials on how to do this depending on your budget. And I will link them on screen and down below for you. So for this process, I'm going to be using isopropanol alcohol, also known as IPA, which is a 99% alcohol based solution. Now this is very strong, so it shouldn't come into contact with your skin because it can irritate you and it is flammable, so you need to be careful. But what's great about this is it evaporates really quickly, so your brushes are good to go again within a matter of minutes. I go for quite a lot of this, so I buy it in big bottles on eBay, but you can buy smaller bottles, but it's really cheap and it's great to keep at home to clean your brushes. I've decanted a small amount into a dappen dish. Then you just want to dip the bristles into the alcohol and you don't want to go past the metal ferrule otherwise the glue will break down and your bristles will fall out. And this is the same rule for any standard brush cleaning. Then you're just going to wipe the brush onto some kitchen towel and you'll see instantly that the alcohol starts to break down any of that product that's stuck between the bristles. So you want to wiggle it backwards and forwards over the paper towel so it can really remove in between those bristles. Concealer is usually a thicker consistency than foundation and it also contains a higher pigment so it is a little bit harder to get out the bristles so you may find you need to dip it twice whereas a foundation brush you can just dip once and it will remove it straight away unless your brush has never been cleaned properly and it's really stained. You may need a couple of goes at it to really bring it up. And as you can see my concealer brush is no longer waxy, it's no longer stained and it looks brand new again but you may find you get a little bit of staining here around the edges if you don't keep up on top of your brush cleaning, build up can occur deep in the bristles. So that's when you really need to do a deep clean, which again, you should do once a week. So I'm gonna show you the same process with my foundation brush. This is a duo fiber brush, and I've also got a buffing brush just to show you the difference in both of them and how they will both come up looking brand new. So I've only dipped the brush in once and I'm just working it over the paper towel until there's no more staining coming off. And as you can see, instantly it looks brand new again. So I'm going to give it a second dip to show you how nothing's now coming off of the brush. So superficially it's clean and it looks new but don't let that fool you. Obviously brushes can harbour bacteria so definitely get in there once a week in between those bristles and give them a really good clean. When it comes to buying IPA you can buy 70% which is also known as rubbing alcohol or 99% which is the one I'm using. I once cleaned my brushes with the 70% which was Tommy's and I couldn't understand why my brushes wasn't coming up as clean. I then realised I wasn't using the 99%. 70% is actually an antibacterial agent so if you're looking for antibac then you can definitely use that. I just find the 99% really gets rid of that greasy feel to your brushes but 99% alcohol doesn't work as a disinfectant the same way that 70% does. But I'll go in with a makeup spray such as this one which is an antibacterial spray. You can also use this to sanitise your powders, your cream based products, anything. It's really good for all types of makeup. On the outside this brush looks lovely and clean. Deep on the inside I can see specks of makeup that need to be removed. And on the outside I can see a rim just around the ferrule that shows me this needs a deep clean. So as I mentioned before, my personal favourite is to use the Style Pro Makeup Cleaner. This is not a sponsored video. It wasn't a sponsored video when I done a tutorial on it. I just think it's absolutely brilliant. And there's a makeup brush cleaner that you can use with it, which is great at removing that waxy appearance to your brushes. And this is something I'll use once a week on my personal brushes. And I will use the alcohol on a daily basis to remove that superficial dirt to make sure I'm not spreading bacteria on my skin. And I'll add a link to this tutorial in the description bar below and on screen for you. And the other option for a deep clean is to use baby shampoo. And again, I've done a tutorial using these products, so I will link them on screen for you. And that's my quick and easy method on how to remove stubborn foundation and concealer stains within your makeup bristles. Please be sure to share the tutorial if you enjoyed it and give it a thumbs up. You can hit subscribe on screen now if you haven't already done so. If you'd like to follow me outside of YouTube, my social handles are on screen now, as is my previous tutorial if you missed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.